Want to get better at ballet fast? Watch this video to find out how. Hey everyone, my name is Hannah Martin. ballet dancer and today I'm going to share with you some top tips to improving your ballet dancing fast. The very first step I'm going to give you is probably going to be the complete opposite to what you might have clicked on this video for. I'm going to say trust the process. There's a reason why ballet dancers train from such a young age to get to where they are. If you try and rush the process you are going to get injured. It's dangerous for your joints. It's not going to go from zero to 100 straight away and if it does Often it doesn't stay that way for very long. There's a reason why you build your technique over years and years and years. Give that grace to yourself. Even if you don't feel like you're progressing very fast initially, it will come with time and experience. Working within safe technique for your body at that time, then that is what is important. To give you an example, if you decided, you know what, I want flat turnout today. I'm gonna just turn my feet out from my feet and not from the top of the legs without the proper strength you're gonna hurt your knees and set yourself back way further. So actually working here, where it's safer for your body and you're actually using the right muscles is gonna get you stronger and improve you faster. Just trust that process, trust your teachers when they're sometimes telling you just to bring it in a little bit. I know it's really frustrating, trust me, I've been there, but it's the only way forwards, otherwise you're gonna set yourself back. So you're probably thinking, well, I've clicked on this video and this is absolutely hopeless. I wanna improve my ballet tomorrow. I wanna show up in class and show a marked improvement. Working on the carriage of the arms, how you hold your upper body can completely transform the way that your ballet looks. I always used to have teachers tell me, you use your upper body well, no one's looking at your feet. After experience of watching so many talented dancers at my company, I really see what they're talking about. When the upper body is working in tandem with the legs, it's absolutely beautiful. Holding your arms well and holding your upper body well can completely transform you overnight from being kind of a mediocre dancer to something that's really stunning. Arms don't really rely on natural facility. That's something you can work on no matter how much flexibility, how much turnout naturally you have. You can use your arms beautifully and make it work for you. If I decided to do plies at the bar and decided just to focus on my arms, Knowing that the legs will come, but really thinking, how can I use my arms in this exercise on my upper body? How can I use the music to my advantage? Really thinking, oh, hello hip. The way that I use my head, the way I work with music. In reverse of that, if I didn't think about my arms, look how different it looks. So often I see, especially with beginners, because they're thinking so much about the legs, the arms and the upper body get, gets completely lost. We're dancing. That's the whole point of ballet is a dancing and a, like an expression of the soul. One thing you can always think about, no matter how the legs are looking, how is my upper body moving and grooving in this exercise? And so that's something you can really develop. Sometimes I used to sit in front of the mirror and just move my arms. You know, when the arms arrive together, not letting one arm arrive and then the other one arrives. They have to work in tandem. And if you can get your arms to work in tandem with your legs, then it's actually also going to help. If you think about it, if your arms are weak and they don't help you with your turns, you're never going to get the turns going. But if they're there and they're coordinated, they're going to hold you up to do your turns. Arms are super important. Do not underestimate their importance. A third tip I'm going to say is bar is your best friend. When I first started ballet, I hated the bar. I was like, I cannot wait just to be free of this thing that I have to stand by. But the bar is really your best friend. It's really gonna help you move forwards because it's gonna be strengthening and it's where all the technique is formed and it's the building blocks for everything you do in the center. Something I do recommend, because sometimes we can get a bit glued to the bar, you can hold on for dear life to that thing. Trust me, I have been there. So doing a balanced bar, I think it's really great. So you do one exercise with your hand on the bar, the same exercise you repeat and you just take your hands off and just touch it when you need to balance. I found those classes from Catherine Morgan on YouTube so beneficial in my training. So I will link it in the description. Her balance bar class is really hard, but so good because it really develops your core. You can see actually where your turnout is because you can't hold your turnout in the center if you're gripping it at the bar. So I definitely recommend doing a bar a day is gonna help. It's like medicine, it really is. If you wanna improve in ballet fast, I definitely recommend 
doing a bar a day. We're gonna talk about cross training for a second. Core and calf strength. People are weak in different areas. Maybe it's your back, maybe it's your legs. But for me, it's always been the core and the calves to really strengthen you for the things that you're gonna do. If you don't have that baseline strength, you are at a risk of getting injured. Getting that strength for you is gonna be so important for everything, your turns, your balances, every single thing really comes from that core. So make sure you are working on that. Also your calves, just because of the amount of point work, especially for girls and then the jumps for the boys, really making sure those calves are super strong. I think it's just so important. Obviously, all the areas of the body is super important to be strong, but those two I think are essential for moving forwards in your ballet training. Another thing, just in general for getting better at ballet, is building your sense of turn. Some people that comes very naturally, if it doesn't come naturally to you, what I would just say is do more of it. Do more turning, just really get that sense of spin. Even if you're not doing pirouettes, just getting that sense of spin will build your confidence with turns and you'll actually find yourself getting better. Finding a spot and really being free. You can hold your arms. Try spinning one way and then try spinning the other way. Probably will find there's one way that you feel much more comfortable turning. For me, it's definitely this way. The more you do it, the more you're gonna feel confident in going into those pirouettes. It's gonna give you a great sense of turn. For me, I'd never had a great sense of turn. Couldn't really do pirouettes when I first started. Some people can just walk in the studio and do pirouettes. That was that was not me. I used to practice in my living room like three hours a day, just turning and turning. I don't recommend that because you can get injured with that much repetition, but it really helped get my sense of turn and get really confident. So when I'll go into a spin, I'm like, I know, how much turn I want to take and I'm confident that I can control that much spin. So getting really confident around turning and movement is super important. Something that I don't think is talked about enough is watching others. When you're in class with other people, especially if they're better than you, sometimes you can feel so intimidated, but actually take it as a learning opportunity. What are they doing that makes them good that I can apply to my own technique? So taking the time to kind of step back, you from an outside perspective, wow, she really moves her head very nicely in that movement. Maybe I'm gonna try that when I do it. Kind of build little like areas of your technique. I definitely recommend watching intentionally, not just watching because, oh, she did that nice. I wish I could do that. No, like what is it that she's doing nice and apply it to yourself so that you can do it too. Another pointer is musicality. Again, you don't need facility to be musical. Some people are very naturally musical, but anyone can be musical if they really attune themselves to it. You see the people on the street come dancing, right? Or dancing with the stars. They can go from being completely unmusical to training the musicality. So if you want to improve in your dancing and you think, oh, I've not got the feet, I've not got the legs, I've not got the turnout, you can have the musicality. You just need to work on it and focus on it. For me, it was about watching others. Oh, that's how they phrase music. Let me try that. Something that helped me is being intentional. Whenever I walked into a class, I knew what I wanted to work on. Like one day I was like, okay, today I want to work on my feet. I really want to make sure I'm getting those lines. Another day I'm like, you know, today I want to get triple pirouettes solid in my exercises. Even if I didn't achieve it, just because I was going in with that intention, it really helped me to hone my technique. Feel like when I came out of class, I had achieved something because I had focused on something. Don't just go into the mundane of like, well, I'm gonna do this class just because I'm doing class. Focus on things that you want to improve on and you want to move forwards with. That is gonna improve you way faster than if you just go in with no intention of anything specific. The final thing is something that I've learned a lot about recently, <laughs> rest and recovery. Don't underestimate how much this is going to help you improve because when you rest is when all that information and all the stuff that you've been training your body sets in. Trust me, when you're burnt out, nothing else goes in to your brain. Taking the time to properly rest and recover between sessions, between training is so important because that's when your body is processing everything that you've taught it. Rest and recovery, probably just as important as the dancing and training aspect. This is something I've not stressed enough on my channel and I want to in future videos stress more because I've learned it the hard way. Make sure you're getting a good rest and recovery, good nutrition, fuel your body, it's doing so much for you. So guys, I really hope that was helpful for you. If you want a part two, make sure to click the like and comment down below. I always love hearing your thoughts. This is literally just skimming the surface. I could literally talk for hours and hours and hours because there's so much you could say, but I hope this gives you a baseline perspective 
or intentions to go forwards with your ballet. If you want to become part of this motivating community, I'd really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. And if you made it to the end of the video, you keen learners, make sure to comment this emoji so I can see who the true motivators are. Guys, I'll see you very soon in my next video. Make sure to dream big and make it happen.